Hey y'all, I'm Coach K and I'm the owner of Level 27 Life Coaching and Advising. I'm the coach that you call when you need help transitioning. I coach students and athletes on how to simply get started, develop a plan of action, increase their mental stamina, and take ownership of their experience. My ultimate goal in life is to help others realize their potential and capitalize on their opportunities. So today, I'm gonna to be giving you three easy steps that you can implement to take advantage of the new name, image, and likeness policy. All right, y'all, let's get started. Okay, so it's been a long time coming for student athletes to be able to benefit off of their name, image, and likeness. Like, this is a big move and it's amazing because a lot of students will be able to like be themselves and actively create revenue and build money and get that bag up. And that's super exciting for anybody. But I think that there are a few things that you have to kind of get in place so that you can make sure that you're making the right connections and partnerships with the businesses that are going to put you in the best light. I think that Prophet Birdman once said, put some respect on my name. And we all want respect and we want people to like not play with us or do anything that's like making us look like we're less of who we are. But if we don't put no respect on our own name, we can't expect anybody to put some respect on our name. Ever since Kobe has passed away, I think that a lot of people chant Mamba mentality and they don't realize what it actually means. Like. What you're about to do in this video is basically create your own Mamba mentality. It's you creating the things that drives you and the things that helps you to stay in, in purpose and stay on track. Kobe had an understanding that he wanted to be excellent across the board. His standards were very high, his mission was clear, and his actions showed everything that he had designed in his mind that he wanted to accomplish. And I believe that it's important that you create your own Mamba mentality and your own policies and procedures before you even take one cent from a company. Realize this, at the end of the day, when you sign up for representation in an agent, when you sign up for uh, products and being the face of products, when you sign up for uh, partnerships with other companies, you are signing up and agreeing to the things that they represent. You are literally saying, I co-sign everything that they do. I'm okay with it. I'm the face of it. I represent it. And so if they move in shady and shysty, and if they have bad policies and they don't really truly respect and help and do things for other people, and that's a, a standard or a procedure of yours, then you kind of selling yourself short and you kind of enslaving yourself to something that's going to be miserable later. So... Before you get into some stuff, before you dive into just trying to get the money or get yourself into a position where you can't get out of, I want y'all to take the time to sit down and create your own Mamba mentality. And these are the three steps to doing that. The first step is creating a mission. This is the space where you create or write down the things that are your standards your moral, your belief system, your family structure, and the things that you've learned from that that you want to keep. And this is where you kind of develop the idea of what you're trying to accomplish. Like, what is the ultimate goal of these connections? What's the ultimate goal that you're trying to reach in life in general? Because what it comes down to is, life is a series of experiences, decisions, things, people, and moments. And you want to make sure that everything that you do, you're super intentional about it and that you are aligning yourself with your mission and trying to accomplish that goal. You may not know your ultimate mission yet, but you have an idea of what your bottom line is. And creating your mission is nothing more than just thinking about the people that you represent, thinking about what you want to change or what you want to be better and creating a statement that encompasses all of those things. It's literally just what you want to do with your life. I think that it's super important that you define a mission, which is simply your bottom line, the thing that you are going after. Step number two is creating your own policy. I want you to create your own policy. Policies are literally rules, they're codes. You all have a bro code or a girl code in your friend group. You have social norms that society has created for you. But I don't think that you've really taken the time to sit down and be like, this is what I'm not gonna do. Like, I don't think you've taken the time to really figure out what am I willing to do? Like, what is off limits? So the first step is sitting down, 
making a column and writing the title, what I'm not gonna do at the top. And then I want you to write down the bullet points that are non-negotiable. The things that you are not gonna do, the things that are like against your morals, against your standards, against your, your religious beliefs, against your family beliefs, like take the time to map out what you not gonna do. Because at the end of the day, if you don't stand for something, you're gonna fall for anything. That's super cliche, but it's real. And the third step is creating your procedures. Now, procedures are basically how you move. Like, for an example, I'm a type of person that wants to be associated with integrity and truth and being real. So in turn, I always exude those things, but I make sure I associate myself with people that do that as well. I don't want to be attached to nothing that is outside of my procedures, my standards, and my morals. Because once you are associated with them, you start getting seen in that same light. And you know, birds of a feather flock together. That's what my granny said. But you want to make sure that anything that you're attaching your name, image, and likeness to exudes the standards and morals that you stand for. Are they moving away that you aspire to move? Because it's it's only going to set you back if you're not intentional about what you connect to, who you connect to, and what you put your name on. An example of a procedure would be, I will not create business deals with people who move shady. I will not put myself in connection with people that do not uphold the standards and morals that I have in my own life. You have to remember what you represent and who you represent and make sure that those things that you connect with are not damaging to that group of people. It's not damaging to the people that you're champion for. Like, I need you to be really intentional about what you connect with and who you connect with. The last thing you want to do is have your name, image, and likeness attached to anything that is suspect, like that could possibly create some type of shadow or leave your name tainted in the process. So you want to make sure that you create a column that has your procedures and how you're going to move. The biggest part of this section is your integrity and how you want to be seen. So for an example, if you want people to trust you, if you want to be known as someone who is 100% real, you wanna exude those characteristics, but you wanna make sure that everybody and everything that you associate your name, image, and likeness with does that as well. So you have to do character checks on the people that you're connecting with. You have to do research on these companies. You have to figure out if what they're saying to you and their actions actually line up. What you're about to do is basically make business deals. And I know a lot of y'all wanna be bosses or believe that you're bosses already. So let's talk business. You're about to start making business deals that impacts your name, image, and likeness. The things that you associate with, the people that you connect to, and the atmosphere that you put yourself in has the ability to really influence you and sway you in different ways. So it's really important that you are solid in who you are, solid in your decision-making and in your process, and know that at the end of the day, you don't have to do anything that does not align with the person that you are or the person you're striving to become. So. When it comes to NIL and the policy and the rules and all of those different things, the NCAA has made it abundantly clear what they want to be, the stipulations, the things that they want to happen and how they want people to move within this realm of this new policy. I really think that students and athletes should take the time to do the exact same thing. The one thing that agents, representatives, institutions, schools, and teams have in common is that they have policies, procedures, and missions. And at the end of the day, that bottom line will be met. They know what they're after. They, they're very intentional in their decision-making. They know what they're trying to get to. And so everything that they do aligns them with that bottom line and that mission. And y'all need to have that same mentality. When it comes down to getting the bag and signing up for these different um, products and things like that, your decision has to be based on more than just getting money. It has to be based on more than just, you know, elevating in a sense of 
fame or like attention. I need you to be making strategic decisions and business moves because that's what bosses do. Bosses don't just make business decisions off of the amount of money they're going to make. They make business decisions that create leverage and gives them equity. And for you as a student athlete or as a student, it's important that you make decisions and that you create a foundation for yourself that will allow you to filter your decisions. So this week, y'all, I have three steps that I want you to implement in your life. And it's actually homework, to be honest with you. Before you can even implement it, you have to create it first. So until next time, stay focused, trust God, and respect the process. I'm Coach K. Be sure to come follow us at Level 27 Coaching on all social media platforms. Also, come join our Spark Plug Club at www.level27coaching.com. All right. Love y'all. Have a great week. Talk to you later. Bye.